Hello everyone and welcome to Chess Vibe. And in today's video, we are going to see the game between Adiban Baskaran versus Neuris Delgado Ramirez. I'm sorry for that. I'm I don't think that I'm pronouncing his name right. But still, this game is going to be very interesting. Uh, the game is first of all from the FIDE World Cup 2021, and this is the round number two. As in the FIDE World Cup, there are eliminations. So if you lost, uh, there are total two rounds. If both the players scored equal equal points then the game would be going the blitz section so this is the day number uh, round number two and this is the game number one so uh total uh, to, total 128 players for playing the fit of world's cup 2021 and 64 players have been knocked out have been eliminated and only 64 players have been left and the game is going to be very interesting this is the round number two and this is the game number one so Adivan Baskaran with the white pieces and Nuris Delgado Remedis with the black pieces. We are going to see an unstoppable attack in the game. So till then, st keep uh, stay tuned and keep watching Chess Vibes. So Adivan Baskaran with the white pieces started with one d4 and we have. Knight to f6 by Neuris, c4, e6, knight to c3, now we have bishop to b4. So now we are in the Nimzo Indian defense variation, f3 variation, Nimzo Indian defense, f3 variation. f3 variation is being recently very popular because by playing f3, white targets to play e4 in the future and white would be having a very nice center. So after f3, we have d5 by Neuris a3 by white asking bishop whether he wants to go back to e7 or whether he wants to trade the bishop for the knight so here we have bishop into c3 check b into c3 and now we have c6 by black so forming a very solid pawn chain structure here we have e4 by white pushing up the pawn asking for pawn trades so here we have d into e4 here we have f into e4 and now we have e5 by black all those who are thinking why not capturing up the pawn on e4 capturing up the pawn is perfectly fine move but after knight into e4 there's come a problem move which is queen to g4 in this position and after playing queen g4 you can definitely see that the queen is now attacking the knight on e4 and as well as the pawn on g7 so according to Indian, the best move for black in this position is to play knight to f6 so after knight f6 we have queen into g7 and after rook g8, white can play queen h6 and it's slightly better position for white and according to practical chess, I think black is really in trouble because the idea of white is very complex and very creative. The idea of white is to play in this position is to play rook to a2 followed by rook e2, knight to f3, g3, bishop g2 and castle and you can see who is who's better. Definitely white is the one who is better in this position that is the reason knight into e4 was not played in the game and after f into e4 we have e5 by black a very nice move by black the idea of playing e5 in this position first of all you cannot capture up the pawn because if you try to capture up the e5 pawn now comes a very powerful move which is capturing up the queen on d1 after king into d1 we have knight into e4 capturing up the pawn and now the threat of black is to play knight to f2 check attacking the king as well as the rook on h1 and the second threat is to capture up the pawn on c3 so actually black is the one who is better in this position so that's why if i were very nice try by nearest so obviously adiban is not going to fall in such a small trap so he played knight to f3 move which is very nice at protecting the pawn on g4 and also attacking the pawn on e5 but now we have queen to a5 by black so we can see both the players are not giving any time to their opponents both the players are coming with their fast responses and just fast play and this game is very interesting so after queen a5 the idea of black is to play queen into c3 check and the queen is attacked on a1 and even perhaps there could be some pressure on the c4 and the d4 pawn so after queen a5 we have a solid reply by adiban which is bishop to d2 protecting the pawn on c3 
and now we have finally knight into e4 capturing of the pawn because now there is no queen g4 ideas because white knight is on the f3 square so after knight into e4 we have bishop to d3 by white the best move in this position developing the piece and asking the knight whether he wants to capture the pawn on c3 whether he wants to capture the bishop on d2 or whether he wants to go back to perhaps f6 or d6 in the game we have the best move by black which is knight into d2 capturing of the bishop on d2 now we have queen into d2 and now black played e into d4 capturing of the pawn and in this position uh, the best move is to capture the pawn on d4 but after capturing of the pawn on d4 there comes a sim simple move for black which is to capture the queen on d2 and after queen into d2 check king into d2 you can see black is the pawn up but white is having a fast play that's why white is slightly better in this position but there is no speciality in this position and as we know adhiman likes to play a very fast chest and very aggressive chest so i think it doesn't uh, suited his style that's why um, at the place of capturing of the pawn on d4 he decided to play the second best move in this position which is to castle for white and castle was very nice move for white here black uh, white is saying to black okay you can capture up my pawn on c3 and if you try to do so by capturing up the pawn on c3 with the queen which looks the most natural move trying to uh, ask for a queen trade but no this is the problem for black because now comes a very powerful move by white which is queen to e2 check and obviously black will not try to move his king so black will play bishop to e6 but now comes a very powerful move which is knight to g5 in this position the idea is very simple here the knight is threatening to capture the bishop on e6 and black is definitely not having any solution of it and even white can even go for capturing of, of the pawn on f7 with the rook because the bishop cannot capture of the rook because the bishop is pinned that's why it's completely winning position for white in this position black has been simply crushed in this position that's why queen into c3 was not played in this position and black played a very best move in the position and which is the most natural move he moved his king to safety by playing castle a very nice move after castle we have knight to g5 by adhiban in the opening we can see that black was giving no time to white and black was just simply attacking in the in, in the full opening structure but now as the game went in the middle game section now white is the one who is attacking black king so after knight g5 the idea of white is to uh, is very simple white is putting pressure on the h7 pawn as well as some pressure on the f7 pawn although for now the f7 pawn is protected but there could be some real pressure in the future so knight g5 was a very nice move by adhiban and black gave a very solid reply black played f5 in this position looks the most natural move right because now the f5 pawn is protected by the bishop rook and the queen so f5 pawn is very pro securely defended and uh, if i talk about the h7 pawn now bishop is not attacking the h7 pawn so there is no real threat on h7 pawn so after f5 we have c5 by adhiban a very nice move by adhiban actually this move is not an easy move to find at all the reason behind c5 move in this position here is white is threatening a very powerful move can you find it all those who have found queen a2 giving a check this is the basic idea even bishop c5 bishop c4 check is also powerful but queen a2 check is the best uh, the reason queen a2 check is the best uh, sorry about that that was a wrong arrow queen a2 check is the best move king is forced to go to h8 and now comes knight to f7 check and rook has to capture it and it's the one who is winning white is better in this move position that's why nuris knew that queen a2 was coming on queen a2 is very powerful move that's why after c5 he played king h8 he knew that there was a check coming a very powerful check queen a2 that's why i simply moved the king to safety by playing king h8 and now we have a still a very powerful move by white which is queen e2 adiban is giving no hopes to black keeping attacking the black king and black is getting no time to defend itself 
the idea of playing queen e2 in this position here is here white is asking black okay do you want to capture up my c3 pawn or you can even capture up my c5 pawn both pawns are free because my idea is very simple i want to play, play my queen to h5 and threaten checkmate on h7 and how will you defend it so after queen to e2 we have knight to d7 by black the idea of playing knight d7 in this position here is if white tries to play queen h5 then black will play knight f6 try to defend the pawn on h7 and also put some pressure on the queen on h5 so after knight to d7 we have knight into h7 by white fantastic move so adiba uh, is now in the beast mode so obviously he, he'll try to sacrifice the uh, his pieces and try to open up the position and make this game one of the best games so after knight into h7 this was a very powerful move by white and the best move for white after knight into h7 in the game we have d into c3 capturing up the pawn if you try to capture up the knight on h7 so now it's made in four can you find it okay so let's see will you have you able to find it or not so the right continuation for mate in four here is queen to h5 check king is forced to go to g8 now we have bishop to c4 check giving a check so black cannot move anything uh, anyway so rook is forced to come on f7 and now we have queen into f7 check uh, so black is having two options if black plays queen king h7 then queen h5 is a checkmate everything is uh, protected by white and it's checkmate and if black tries to play king h8 then queen g8 is checkmate so this is the reason so that's why king into h7 was not played in this position and at the place of king into h7 black decided to capture the pawn on c3 but now comes a very fantastic move by white and a very natural move which is to play queen to h5 very strong move the idea is very simple here black king can no longer capture up the knight on h7 and white plan is to play knight g5 back with a check so after king a g8 queen h7 is the checkmate so black played queen into c5 capturing of the pawn and giving a check to the white king so white simply played king h1 now we have king g8 so that then if knight will move there would be no checks on the king so after king g8 we have bishop into f5 by white capturing of the pawn and we can see white pieces are just into the black's king and I, I, I def I'm definitely sure that black, uh, black is definitely not feeling very secure and very safe. Black is in very big trouble. After bishop into f5, we have queen to d5 by black. The idea of playing queen to d5 here so that there would be no checks with the bishop on e6 and it would be mated. That's why black played queen d5, stopping this bishop e6 idea. So after queen to uh, queen to d5. Now we have the best move by white, again by Adiban, which is knight to g5 in this position. The idea is very simple. White is planning to cap play queen h7 and it's checkmate. Complete checkmate. So black played knight to f6, attacking the queen on h5 as well as protecting the square on h7. So I'll give you a couple of seconds. Try to find the best move for white and try to find mate in four idea for white in this position. I'll give you a couple of seconds. So okay. So all those who have found the right move by playing still queen h7 check. Congratulations. This is the mate in four idea. First of all, king is having no space, so knight is forced to capture up the queen. Although after queen into h7, after on the move number twenty-two. Nuris Delgado Ramirez with the black pieces resigned the game and Adiban Bhaskaran with the white pieces won the game. Fantastic play by both the players. So let's check it out what will happen. After queen into h7 check, black is forced to capture up the queen with the knight. So here we have knight into h7 but now we have bishop into h7 check. King is forced to go on h8 so, and now we have rook into f8 check. Now, King is queen is forced to come on g8 and after queen g8 we have rook into g8 and it's a complete checkmate by white uh, king is having no space suffocated by white pieces fantastic game played by Ad adivan baskaran and now in today's uh, 
so now the game th this is uh, and uh, the video i'm recording today here is uh today uh, there's going to be the round number two and the day number two so adiban needs just to uh, draw so that he would be simply qualified for the third round and the and nearest the guide ramirez would get eliminated so fantastic play by adiban i think you you can also try this uh idea of um, very 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 unique the idea is to play f3 in this position and f3 ideas there are many tricks for white white can play e4 and white can even sacrifice the pawn on e4 and can play queen g4 idea and i think your opponent would be in great danger if he hasn't seen this position so you can try uh, this position and this f3 variation for sure so if you like this game then you can like to my video I will come up with these new videos for you because the FIDE World Cup is just started so there would be many games to analyze and to have fun. So if you are new to my channel then you can subscribe to my channel. If you, are, if you like this game then you can like to my video, share this video with your friends and family members. Stay safe, stay healthy and thank you for watching and bye bye.